guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the free to play account on the test server and brand new patch notes are up. However, they are not up on the test server. Um, this has happened actually last couple of times. I even did a refresh, did a reboot, um, everything else, but I'm not seeing the patch notes over on the um, server, but I also, I do have them over on the Discord server. So I'm gonna hop over there so we can um, go ahead and review all the patch notes. See, there are quite a few patch notes that are in here, guys. So let's take a look at them. So here we are guys, and I'm gonna run through patch notes 1.87. So receiving the new Wilder Hero Oku Iron Fist, which is pretty funny because we watched Iron Fist last night um, over on Marvel. Um, the new hero will be available. I'm assuming Iron Fist is going to be a tank or a warrior. So that might have kind of put him out from being a mage or being another hero such as that nature. So I, I think it's gonna be honestly a warrior would be Oku, the Iron Fist would be a warrior. So added the Bountiful Trials for Oku. We know that is coming as well. New additions. Added a new skin for Grez, the Loyal Protector, which can be obtained during the Ravishing Roses event. That is right, guys. Grez's skin is going to be free. I'm sure it is going to be event items that you do have to redeem to pick up that skin. But if you are completely free to play, you can pick up that skin as free to play, which I love. Added the new skin for Lucretia called the resplendent dancer which can be purchased for a discounted price at the wardrobe so it is going to be the purchase so grez is free um lucretia is going to be a purchase which is interesting that's kind of what i thought um when we had talked about it before lucretia skin i i thought was going to be a purchase just looking at it which now we do have it confirmed that is a purchase in there Added the Disasters Emergence event, which will be available to players after completing Stage 3-12. So we have another event that is coming, kind of in hand-in-hand -in -hand with the third anniversary. Fight of Fates is returning, guys. That is right. We, we've been seeing on um, the Battle of Blood. Now the Fights of Fate is coming back, which is... It's okay. I, I mean, anything to get free loot in here, I will absolutely take. But some of the events are just rather time consuming um, for what you kind of get out of there. And they don't have a reward for really pushing, um, which I don't like. I, I think they could do a lot more with them. Added the new adventure, the Golden Isle to the Voyage of Wonder. So there is another Voyage of Wonder that is going to be coming up pretty soon, guys. Added the Arid Badlands. Arid Badlands is a Voyage of Wonder we did a while ago. Adding it to the Wandering Bloom. So they continue this Wandering Bloom, which I absolutely love. Um, gives us the ability to see some of the older voyages, especially if you are newer to AFK Arena and you've never had the opportunity to see any of those older voyages. Um, you can actually play them for the first time. If you are a player like me that's going on three years, um, you, you get to run them again, which is relatively easy. And I've actually ran them so many times that I have them completely memorized. Now, some of the interesting ones here, guys, increase the health of um, Riz and Soren in the Guild Hunt. Players can now deal more damage to get more rewards. That is right, guys. This, I believe, is the first update or change in three years that they've done with the guild boss. Um, simply just adding more health will allow you to get more gear. I'm hoping they updated the loot. I, I do not see anything up here or in here that says they updated any of the loot to get a little bit of a better gear. Even if they added mythic gear in there, let's say at... 100 billion damage when you killed the bosses if you picked up one piece of mythic gear um, or if you added something else short of just the gear itself because even without the gear you could take the gear out just put in your tokens that will allow us to enchant gear which would be super efficient actually um, now that I think about it but if you are an earlier player getting the gear makes a big difference guys because that's gear you can actually equip on your heroes twisted bounties optimization when players reach the relevant requirements after the update goes live, new version of Twisted Bounty Regal Reward Champions of Espria feature will be unlocked. Both common and premium rewards for these events have been increased. So they continue to add to these guys. They are a very good purchase, which we'll look at in just a minute. Um, all three of these packs, they are, I believe it's 20 or 20, I think 24.99. Um, all of these packs give you a significant amount of loot. They added levels to them to give you more loot. Now they went ahead and they have a common and a premium rewards. So I, I think the common might be the regular ones we get, the premium being the ones you pay for. Um, but increasing the loot in there is, is going to, of course, be pretty good um, because they're adding more for the exact same price for what players have been picking it up for. So when players reach um, the original Twisted Bounty Regal and Champion 
will be denoted by, by the old label, which that's how they've always faded them out in the in the past. So even though they up, they give you the updated version of the Twisted Bounty, Regal Rewards, and Champions of Espria, um, you'll actually have all six of them in the bottom until the old one expires, which is good because if you're halfway through it, they're not going to cut off the loot exactly where you are. Optimize the way the campaign stages stage AFK rewards are displayed, which will take effect after it goes live. Items will with higher drop probability will now be displayed on the world map on the chapter page as the campaign progresses. Items with higher drop probability will now be displayed on the world map and on the chapter page, which we, we've seen that before. Um, if you actually go to the world map or when you change chapters, it shows what is available on there from moving to that chapter. So now it looks like they're just going to be displayed on the world map as well. Um, it is now possible to view the AFK rewards on the current and next chapter via the AFK rewards page. So you can kind of see what is coming. Optimize the rickety cart. I, I like this, guys. Um, rickety cart, I know 90% of players never use nor have functionality for it. But the rickety cart does serve its purpose. Um, players that have yet to progress past stage 5.1 of the campaign can now reset their heroes for free. Definitely worth it, especially if we're doing another race coming pretty soon. Sneak preview right there um, of w resetting the heroes early, especially when you start getting those legendary heroes. But that's pretty low. I, I think they should up that to probably 10-1 possibly. Um, in the AFK Arena test server, the new Cursed Realm calculation time has changed from Wednesday to Thursday, so they moved it an entire day, during which time no challenges will be available. This effect will take after the implementation of this update. So hero adjustments. So here we do see where they change heroes. Um, a lot of the older heroes, they've never adjusted. So so I know when you look at Kaz, when you look at Almas, when you look at a lot of the heroes that players do not utilize, um, they used to, once upon a time, um, go through and change a lot of the heroes and adjust some of their skills and abilities, um, even doing complete reworks to a lot of them. And as of now, it doesn't seem like they do. So fix an issue where the skill Grace would incorrectly prioritize allied summon units as targets under rare circumstances. That's good. Good fix there. Optimize the targeting selection logic and skill description of the skill Grace. Allied heroes who have not already been affected by one of the two heroes when Grace is, is used will be given priority. Details are subject to the in-game description. Zekas, another hero that most players do not use nor build, fixed an issue that was causing a battle verification issue to occur in very rare circumstances. And then Audrey, which is the brand new hero there. So fixed an issue that in rare circumstances would cause the duration of focus fire skills defense rating debuff to be shortened. Definitely have to fix her guys as a brand new hero in AFK Arena. All right, guys, so getting back to the game, um, when you do go into the world map, this is what we were kind of talking about, is when you look at previous chapters, there are going to be items that are now displayed on the map itself. So before they actually pop up right here in the bottom, so you're going to be able to just see them on the map itself. And then also the other big rework is these, guys. So within the Noble Society, um, there's going to be a rework for all of these, which is going to be very cool to see. So these will actually go to the old and then you'll have a new version that is replacing it. What's good is when they do kind of the side by side comparison, you can kind of look at them, see exactly how much or how, how much more loot you're going to be getting. And you can see right here, guys, this is the common one, which is the one that you get for free. Um, and you just max this out by essentially playing the game. And then the premium pass is the one that you buy, and it is $24.99, just like we've seen right there. Guys, super excited about the patch notes. I cannot wait to see um, what they're going to bring with Riz. Again, I hope they do something with the loot. Um, I would love to see some addition in there. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the patch notes. And as always, thank you guys for watching.